Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name's Amanda and today I wanna to show you how I remove my stickers as well as library jackets from some of my books. So this is actually a video that has been requested on my channel and so I thought I would show you how I remove um, some stickers and library jackets from different books that I have. Um, I buy a lot of used books and so uh, sometimes because I get those from a variety of different places um, they will come with library jackets on them. So I have bought library jacket books from or books that have library jackets on them from library book sales in the past. This is one that I got from a um, thrift store. I've gotten them from Little Free Libraries, and I have also gotten them from Thrift Books. So this is one that I actually got from Thrift Books that had a library jacket on it. So I actually have a plethora of books right now that actually need to have the jackets removed from them. So I thought I would show you how I do that. And also I would show you how I remove stickers. So this is a book that I actually got from the dollar store and it has a big old sticker on the front. Um, this is one that I got from a thrift store, but it still has the target sticker on it. Um, this is one that I got from a thrift store and it just has the price tag sticker on it that needs to be removed. So there are different books here. Some of them are hardcover, some of them are paperback. I figured we'd kind of do a variety of things today, so let's just kind of get into this. I'm going to start first with stickers because those are a little bit easier to do. Um, some stickers, this is a printed hardcover, um, so it doesn't have a dust jacket on it, so this one actually shouldn't be too difficult to take off. Um, this is a little tool that I actually purchased with a thing of Goo Gone um, that is actually a tape and sticker lifter. I found this at TJ Maxx, but I'm sure you can find it other places. I'll see if I can find it and link it down below. But I got it because I actually use Goo Gone to remove sticker residue. Um, and so right now, because my fingernails are not going to be cooperative, I'm gonna try to use this to take off stickers with. Um, but normally I just use my fingernails and I will try to peel it off. So doing printed hardbacks is a lot easier than doing paperbacks because you don't have to worry so much about it lifting the paper. That's really the danger with doing, um, or with trying to take stickers off, is that you don't want it to adhere to the paper and then start lifting the paper off. But you can see this one's being a little bit, a little bit stubborn. I'm gonna move these. Being just a little bit stubborn and that's okay. Um, but we're going to try to get as much of this off as we can, and then I'll show you how I get the sticky residue off as well. All right, so I have most of the sticker off. There's still a little bit of paper here, but for the most part, it is off. And there's still a little bit of sticky residue left on here. So what I do at this point is I get my goo gone, and I get a paper towel. And I just take the goo gone and I soak a little corner of the paper towel and I will just rub this down with goo gone. And it lifts all that sticky residue right off of it. Once I get it all off, I then dry it off with the same paper towel, just with a different corner of it. There's still a little bit of paper here, so I'm gonna try to scrape that off with my nail. It's right in that where the spine meets, and so it kind of has that indent, so it's a little bit hard to get that off. Let's see. All right, so we got the paper off. Now we got to go back and try to get that the rest of that residue off. I'm going to find my wet side of my paper towel and get all that off. And there we go. And that is how I remove the sticker and get all that sticky residue off. It looks a little bit wet right now, but that will just dry right off. It doesn't damage the cover at all, and it looks good as new. So that one's done. Now, this one is a paperback book. So this one, like I said, the danger with doing the paperbacks is that the sticker will adhere to the book, and then it will start lifting the paper. And that's where you get like the paper separation, and it will start tearing, and that's what you don't want. 
So once again, just taking this same, um, you can use a butter knife or a putty knife. You want something that isn't, um, doesn't have a sharp corner to it. You can see this has rounded corners to it because you don't want to dent your book. So a lot of times I'll just use a butter knife to um, help lift if I need to, but for the most part, I'll just use my fingernails. And we're just gonna lift the sticker right off. And you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but this is still sticky. So once again, I'm just gonna use the same paper towel. It still has some goo gone on it. And we're just gonna wipe this down. Sometimes it takes a couple of passes and still feel it on there. A bit more. And you don't need this specific um, tape and sticker lifter goo gone to do this. I also have done this just with a regular bottle of goo gone that you can get at the store. You can get it at any store, Walmart, Amazon, I'm sure. I will link link it down below if I can find it on Amazon. All right, and now this isn't sticky anymore. And like I said, it'll look a little bit damp, but you can see that, that the liquid from the Goo Gone does not disturb this jacket at all. So this jacket is now good as new again. Here, move that lid out of the way, I guess. Here, this is a hardcover with a dust jacket. So this is just a sticker on a piece of paper. So once again, this is just, you want to be really careful that, especially with it being up right near the edge, that you're not tearing your dust jacket. So here, even though this is lifting right here, I will start down here to start peeling the sticker because the last thing I want is to get this right at its vulnerable point on the edge and it to start to tear. So I'm actually going to start lifting this sticker down at the bottom. And so I'm going to go back in and see if I can get this, this other sticker, the lower layer of it, the bottom layer of the sticker is still on there. Sorry if you can hear all that banging. Um, I'm in the floor below my children today, and so they're kind of running around upstairs, and so I apologize for that. All right, and this one actually didn't even leave any residue on it. So that's all I needed to do for this one. And now I have this, this book. Um, this also has a couple of stickers on the back, but it's just on the ISBN and that's not bothering me. So, um, all right, so that is how I remove stickers. So now let's get on to um, library covers. All right, so like I said, I get my library jackets or books with library jackets on them from a variety of different places. Um, and I tried to find some that were glued in, but I couldn't. All of the ones that I have right now are just taped in, but sometimes you'll get library jackets where they actually glue in the dust jacket. They'll put a line of glue and glue it on. Those are extremely difficult to get off. I don't recommend buying those unless you're okay with leaving the jacket on them because they are next to impossible unless you can already start lifting it off. But if you go in to lift it and it is stuck on there tight, it's next to impossible to get them off because a lot of times it's very, very old glue. And so I have done everything from trying to heat up the glue. I've tried multiple different methods to get those off. Sometimes they're a little bit newer and you can just, or the glue is disintegrating enough that you can just lift it straight up and it's not a big deal. But sometimes it will destroy the book if you try to get it off. So just know that going in. But most of the times, these are just taped in. So you can see right here, there's a little piece of tape here, there's a little piece of tape here. So the way that we're gonna get these off is to take a pair of scissors or a knife or whatever you want, and you're just gonna cut this tape. These are not the best scissors to do this with. I'm gonna go get a knife. 
All right, my scissors are too thick, so too, too big. So I'm just gonna lay this right along here and cut this tape out. Always cut away from you. We don't need anybody losing fingers. All right, and that's that. Now, you gotta do the other side. Same thing. Here you can see this is the security device that was put in by the library, and I'll lift that out here in a minute. But right now I'm just gonna take the tape off. All right, so this is ready to come off. Woo, sorry about that. Except for the security device. Now with the security device, all the security devices is a sticker. So this paper right here is very, very thin. It is very, it rips very, very, very easily. And I can already tell that this is starting to lift just a little bit. So I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna use my knife. And I'm just going to be very, very carefully and very, very slowly going to lift this out. Continuing to cut that adhesive as I go. Just to separate it from the paper. Sometimes this is a process. Sometimes it takes a little while. And if you rush it, you can end up destroying your book. So you just wanna allow, allow time, allow yourself to take your time with it. You can see that I'm not using the sharp side of this knife, I'm using the back side of this knife to do this part with. Because all I need is to separate this adhesive from the paper. All right, still just going very, very slowly. I don't wanna just yank it out because there's always a chance that you rip this end paper. Like I said, it's very, very thin. This is still sticky. So once again, I go back to my Google on. I'm just gonna rub this down. This will dry. I know it looks wet right now. It will dry. All right, so this is good. We're good on here. Now, if you wanna take these little strips of tape off, this is another area which depending on the book, it may be worth it, it may not, because this type of um, like fabric, cloth bound, it's not actually cloth bound, also, tends to tear very, very easily. Um, but for sake of example, I have been known to try to rip these off and just totally separated the paper and ripped a couple of books apart that way. It didn't bother me at the time, but now I kind of wish I would have just taken it a little bit more slowly. The more time you put into it, the better the results are gonna be with, like with most things in life, okay? We're just gonna go really, really slow. It's not like a rip the band-aid off sort of thing. All right, and then you can assess if there's any sticky residue. Here, there is not, so we're good there. If there is sticky residue, you just use that goo gone again. All right, here, there is a little bit of sticky residue right here. So we're just gonna rub this down. We're gonna 
All right, that looks good. Now the other side. There's a little bit of residue right there, which I'll take care of in just a second. Here, this little bit of tape residue on here. All right. This will all dry. I'm gonna set this aside for right now because I have all of the tape and stickers and everything out of that. And now we're gonna move on to taking care of the dust jacket. So once I cut this out, you can see that there's a little piece of ta scotch tape right here. So, oops, I'm actually going to just use scissors for this part. Most library jacket, pla the plastic covers are um, set up the same way, where there's a piece of paper behind the dust jacket. So there's the dust jacket, there's a piece of paper, and then there's plastic around both. And they will tape it to the paper. So. Once you take that piece of tape off, you can just lift this out. Now, because this one had a sticker right here, it is sticking a little bit, just to the very, very edge. You can see right there. Just gonna very, very, very slowly lift that off. This is now trash. Here, let's see. Yep, we do have sticky residue here. So I get my paper towel, my wet paper towel. All right, and there is that, this will dry. So then I can take my book, put my dust jacket back on it. And we're good as new. Now, sometimes you have a circumstance where underneath the dust jacket, I already took or on the plastic cover. So I already took the plastic cover off of this one. This is one that I did try to quickly remove the tape, ended up ripping the paper. That was not awesome because I actually really, really love these books. And so I was really, really mad at myself for doing that. Instead of taking my time with it, I just tried to hurriedly fix it and it, it backfired for sure. But I can take that off. I learned my lesson down here and did not try to take this one off. So we can go ahead and do that now. See what happened? Oopsie. And it just lifted up off here again. So like I said, you just have to take it really, really slow. And be careful. If it starts ripping, start going the other direction. Because if it starts ripping, you're just going to continue ripping it if you continue going in that direction. You have to change change uh, change directions if it starts to lift. Now for the dust jacket on this one though, see this is just an example of one that has this type of cover where it just easily rips. So I still need to get this one off. I'll do that in just a second. However, what I wanted to talk with you about, oh, let's get this sticker off my table. What I wanted to show you was the cover. So I already took the plastic cover off of this, but here there are stickers on the dust jacket still. So they tape the letter onto, this is just put on here with scotch tape. This is an actual sticker. This is actually a book I got from Thrift Books. Um, and so at this point, be, I would say, Use your best judgment and determine if it's something that will lift off of it well enough, depending on the sticker, because you don't know how long that sticker has been on there. We're going to try to take this off, though. I'm just going to, like I said, go very, very slowly. It's going to take a while. This is stuck on really good.
All right, so that took a while. <laughs> that was not easy. This is very, very, very sticky. So once again, woo, that was quite a bit. I did not need that much, but let's get this sticky off. All right, I need that to dry and then I can reassess the sticky situation there. Um, and then this right here is just put on with scotch tape. Um, so, let's see if I can peel this up off. Maybe not. The thing with scotch tape is that it shreds very easily. So it's hard to get a like solid pull at it. Like with stickers, they might rip but scotch tape just completely shreds. So anything with scotch tape is not fun. Once again, you wanna be really careful because scotch tape, just like a sticker, just like anything else, will very, very easily just rip your paper right apart. So you just wanna take it really slow all right, there we go. So this is still a little bit sticky right here. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this and I'm gonna scrape as much of the sticky residue off as I can. You can see right there how all that sticky residue that I was able to scrape off with my scraper. So, I'm gonna do that, do another pass at that, just to see if I can get any more up off. And just a little bit. All right. Oh, there it is. Let's go the other direction and see what we get. All right. So, let me take this again. Just really try to finish that off, get that nice and clean. All right. And this one is good as new. So then we can take it and put it back on my book that is sadly torn, but that's okay. You know what? You're gonna have some a learning curve. You're gonna have some uh, oopsies as you learn what you can and can't get away with. So that one is done. All right, and then another one I wanted to show you because this is one that I haven't done anything with. This is a library book. It's a library discard. And it's actually from a middle school library. And so what they have done, there is a sticker here that's actually from Thrift Books or Better World Books. I don't know which one it was that I got this from. I buy books both places. I actually prefer buying books from Better World Books um, I just, I really, really love their website. I will link them down below. If you are looking for somewhere to buy used books from, they are my favorite. Um, because for every book that you purchased, purchase through them, they send a book to a kid in need or a country or a program that supplies books to needy populations. Um, so whether that be within the United States, whether it be outside of the United States, um, they have been able to do quite a bit of good. This actually already has a, I'm gonna just kind of see what, see if I can get this off. This is actually kind of being a little bit difficult. So, but part of the reason this is being difficult is, and I guess I can just explain this to you now, is they took this book and they actually covered it in contact paper with tape. So they taped all the way around it there's contact paper on it and the stickers are underneath the contact paper. So there's no getting a lot of these stickers off. The only way I can get this one off is because it's on the outside of the contact paper um, and because it was put on by the company that sold the book, not the actual library. So I will be able to get this one off. It's just gonna take a little bit of effort because the contact paper is starting to separate from the book down here. So every time I pull on this side, it lifts the contact paper, but 
around the edges, like I said, it's all taped in around the edge of the book cover. Oh, look at that. It even has a pocket for a card. So um, I think this one's just going to be one. It's just going to take some time. And that's okay. Because like I said, if you're willing to put in the time, then you're going to be able to get it off. And it's going to be fine. But it's going to take time. I would not mess with trying to get the contact paper off of this because it has been taped in with packaging tape which is going to rip the cover to shreds if I tried to get that off it would just rip it apart and so it's not worth it to try to take the contact paper off to get all of the library stickers off of this one but I can get this little barcode off that the bookseller put on maybe It looks like this green dot sticker is also on the outside of the contact paper. So I can lift that off. All right, so I was able to get that off, but the rest of this I will leave as is. Um, because it would ruin the book for me to try to take it off. And this is part of the gamble with buying books that are library discards is that you might run into a book like this. And that's okay. I don't mind that, but some people might. So, all right, that's what I wanted to show you today. So I showed you how to get stickers off, how to get library covers off. These books all look fantastic. They're ready to be added to my shelves now. So yeah. I hope that this was informative for you. I hope that you learned something new and that you can take stickers off and library covers off with confidence. Now I was able to give you some helpful tips and that's gonna do it for today. So I would love to hear from you down below. If you are a aficionado at taking covers off of library books, do you buy library discard books or not? And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you stick around and subscribe and until next time, see ya.